there's been a couple of threads that I've read and a couple of people saying that they don't really know what is the benefit of the bands. So I want to go ahead and show you a few things you can do to get the most out of your band training. One of the biggest issues that you're going to have with the band, if you don't know how to do them correctly, is too much slack in the bands. And that's the equivalent of lifting with 10s when you could have been lifting with 35s. So step on back, fully extend those arms, and curl up with time under tension of one second up and two seconds down. One second up and two seconds down. And repeat that for the rep range you choose. Another issue is rounding of the shoulders to the front. We do enough of that when we sit down. And a lot of people, when they push, they already have their shoulders to the front and they're doing this. So they're like, oh, man, I feel it so much in my shoulders. Head's completely tucked down. What you want to do is raise your chest up. Really get your chest out in front of you and get your shoulders behind them. And then you press and don't let the shoulders go in front of the chest. That's the real thing to do that. That's the best way to keep that chest, see that contraction in the chest? That's the best way to do it. And then go for the reps desired. Keep your head up best you can. Now I know this one's a little exaggerated, but this is exactly what I be saying when I see band work. So it's just like the same principles. Take out that slack, reposition yourself. You go in one second up and two seconds down and repeat the process. At first glance, this doesn't look like the worst form. And it's not the worst form, but it can always be better, right? So what you want to do is instead of bring your elbows all the way down, tucked to your side, you want to go ahead, before you lift off, engage them. That way your shoulders are ready. You press and bring them right back down to the same spot. One second up, two seconds down, and repeat. One of the biggest issues that I see when it comes to band training is people putting their feet way too close together. And as you know, we depend on that elasticity when it comes to the bands. So instead of having your feet so close where you see some slack at it, now I'm six foot, so you didn't see as much slack there, but shorter people are gonna have that problem. You wanna get your feet out a little bit further, recontrol your stance and stop hanging out at the top because you're resting at the top. So as soon as you get to the top, boom, you're right back into the position right back up and right back down into the position. And that's how you get the time and attention with the legs. Yet another one where people use the slack and I get clients like this all the time. So I tell them, take the slack out and you wanna make sure you pull it. One second up, two seconds down and repeat the process, man. So I wanted to show you guys what it looks like six months without any free weights at all all resistance training because if you close your eyes man, the body knows no difference between the weights that we use in the gym and the bands you just have to be consistent use the principles of time under tension use the principles of overstimulation and get it pretty close to failure um, without hurting yourself and that's the most important thing they're very safe so i recommend the bands to anybody i hope this helps guys